spring tool out and it'll pick up speed. Come, sweetheart, the crowd awaits. Here she is, five years of age. And she too drinks a mixture of milk and honey. She doesn't like it, but we make her drink it. <laughs> Actually, all the bears love dairy products, milk, ice cream, cheese. Some of the wild bears even like the cows themselves. <laughs> and they get into big trouble. Sweetheart, how about you jump up on the drum, put it in here, slip the clutch and peel rock. We call this rig the Bear Mobile. And on a good day, we can get about 13 miles per gallon of ice cream, could it? <laughs> Not too shabby for this neck of the woods. And in our effort to go green, we've been working on a hybrid. One that runs on milk or ice cream. That one's still in development. Just like that joke. <laughs> Now, once you get done wandering around, Your Highness, we'd like you to join us over at this barrel. Would you jump up on top? Then we want you to drop down out of sight, see no bear at all. And only one small part of her anatomy will show up at the bone hole. Oh, yeah, she loves this job. Who can blame her? Eating bumbleberry ice cream on a scorching hot July morning. Yep, they're all still there. Oh, yes, she loves it. Oh, boy, she says. Oh, they're still there. Nicely done. I'll set you down gently. Now, did you know that every spring we go out June bug picking? I keep them in the freezer for the show, and during the hot weather, when you put them in your pocket, they warm up and fall around a little. They're kind of hard to catch. Sweetheart, would you like the two bug I bought one right here? She loves them. Crunchy on the outside, but soft and chewy on the inside. The little legs tickle on the way down. Oh, and here's the big one I found on the porch screen. Juicy. Ooh. For those of you who are horrified, and I bet there are a few, they're prunes. And they help to keep her regular. I thought there was an audience here. Right. We're going to weigh you in. You just hold steady. Yes, you. Yes, I see you want your money. Hold steady. We're going to call that one 250 pounds and grow it. Here, here's a little extra for you. Now disappear. After we weigh her in, I suddenly get a headache. Whenever I get a headache during the show, Tula heads over to the first aid cabinet and she always pulls out the bare aspirin. <laughs> Those other brands just won't do. <laughs> now for the tough part. Would you please take that and put it back in the cabinet, this time on the left-hand side, and then close the door to keep the small children out. <laughs> Very good. We're going to stand her up on top of the barrel, but she'll only do it for a moment. She's a kid. She's in a hurry. She wants to get back and play her Atari 2600. Go ahead. Atari. Wow. You're doing a good job. How about we do it in this direction? I bet they'd like to see it over here. One time, sweetheart. She has the white under her neck. Yes. Now you can grab your money right here. Move it right along. In a hurry, I see. It's time for her little dancey dance. Right about there would be good. Bust it. Oh, she loves to dance. You should see her on Saturday night. She gets herself all dolled up before she heads to town. Even colors her face with that colored dirt stuff. She calls it Bear Minerals. <laughs> How about we play a game of ball? Could you give me the hand signal if you are ready? That means you are ready. Yes, it does. Here it comes, kid. Very good. Here's a little taste for you. Let's try again, shall we? Since you're right there. 
Yes, all right, then run it to the booth. But hold your head up high. Be proud. And there's a basket for Tula. Once you reach the target, we do it twice. Repetition, consistency, that's the key. When I owe her money, her mouth opens up wide like a baby bird. She loves to show off her rubber teeth and her plastic fingernails. Oh, yeah, right. Okay, now they're going to take center. Lorraine is going to ask Tula to do a few of her world famous rollovers. We only let her do about three rollovers at a time because we don't want her to get round. Now, so for many years, we've been teaching our bears to ride on two wheels. And this year, we decided to make it a little more interesting for Tula. We added new traffic cones. So we've been doing this for a little while, as you can tell. Yeah, yeah, you're in a bit of a hurry. Let's help you out here. I'll steady it up. You put your hands on the handlebars. Hoodie on, more. Look out, world. Here she comes. Use your turn signal. No texting and driving. Watch out for pedestrians. Oh, let's make it interesting. Detour ahead. Bear right. Oh. Hey! You just left the scene of an accident! Where did you get a driver's license? What's that? Massachusetts? The things they say in the ring! I'm gonna have to wash your mouth out with ice cream. Is there anyone here from Massachusetts? Well, we're glad you came, because you're our bread and butter. <laughs> How about Rhode Island? Very good. Connecticut. Yeah. Nicely done. Let's see. How about Maine? <laughs> Outstanding. <laughs> Vermont. <Yeah>. They finally <laughs> showed up. <laughs> How about New Hampshire? Never heard of it. <laughs> well, no matter where you come from, we are glad you came here. Now, we're working on a problem-solving exercise. I just put the prize up there out of reach. Julie's not tall enough to get it. So, she and Maureen place the barrel in position. Then comes this little wooden box. Still not tall enough, so she'll place it just so. Checks to see if the prize is still there. Up she goes, and now it's all hers. We call it that one the pyramid trip. It was started by 1949 or 50 by her father and my own. It's a classic. Down and off of there, right into her custom built chariot. Even has her name on the back. Maureen will be the handmaiden. I'll play the chauffeur. And I call this one Driving Miss Daisy. What did you think of our little friend Tula? And that, my friends, is the Bear Show, the very best we can do. We hope you enjoy it. Before I let you go, next up on the schedule, train ride for some. It will bring you back in time to see the 12 o'clock performance with the end on Chinese acrobats right here at the ring. And finally, thank you all for coming. You're